Strong community makes successful economic development possible. Barangay Uno has leveraged the strength of their community to create a successful livelihood project with bright prospects for the future. An ongoing challenge for traditional coastal fishing communities is the development of large resort hotels that threaten to limit access to traditional fishing grounds. When hairdressing mogul Ricky Reyes wanted to build a white sand beach in front of his luxury resort, the Golden Sunset, the people of Barangay Uno were moved to action. In partnership with a local NGO, Samaka, their advocacy campaign thwarted Reyes' attempt to block their access to the coastline. This stretch of beach was protected and the waters in front of the resort are still being used for fishing and seaweed culture, thus maintaining a vital means of income for Barangay Uno. The success of this advocacy campaign imbued the community with a strength and cohesiveness that has emboldened them to participate in a local microfinance project, Lombada. This project has become a critical source of income for the village. Barangay Uno has continued its association with Samaka. The existing relationship between Samaka and the renowned Jesuit University of Manila, Ateneo, expanded to include student immersion to Barangay Uno. In July of 2007, a group of students listened attentively to Tatay Jun, the community leader, during their orientation. He spoke to them of the community's challenge in purchasing fishing nets at a reasonable cost. As an entrepreneur, he envisioned a time when the community could buy directly from suppliers in Manila, as opposed to the more expensive nets available in the local market, thus realizing substantial savings. However, given the depressed economic circumstances in the community, startup capital was unavailable. A group of students from Ateneo was moved by the orientation and vision of Tatay Jun. They created a proposal that directly led to a donation of 70,000 pesos from the Oxfam Disaster Relief Fund established in the wake of a recent and devastating typhoon. This money was used to purchase fishing supplies that were then given directly to Barangay Uno. This has become known as the Lombada Project. The Lombada or fishnet project, outfitted the new community store with essential fishing supplies selected by community leaders for direct and near-cost sales. In May of 2008, Ateneo completed the first transfer of supplies, thereby kicking off the project. Subsequently, in September of 2009, Conservation International made a similar donation to complement the Ateneo transfer in the amount of 50,000 pesos. Just a few months later, Ateneo made an additional donation in the amount of 134,000 pesos, 90,000 of which was used to purchase a community jeepney. The purchase of the jeepney enabled the community to travel to Manila in order to directly purchase supplies. The remaining 44,000 pesos were used to purchase additional fishing supplies to be sold at the new store. Before the Lombata project, fishermen were replacing their nets every four to five months, as opposed to the more proper replacement rate of every three months. Continued use of these old nets caused the fishermen of Barangay Uno to lose many fish due to holes and tears. As a result of the capital infusions provided by Ateneo and Conservation International, area residents are now able to purchase net making materials at a reduced cost, the ultimate goal being higher fishing yields and income. To encourage membership and stakeholders in the project, the community store has separate prices for members and non-members. Realizing that economic circumstances often prohibit outright purchase of such expensive gear, the project also provides a rent-to-own program, where members can purchase nets on credit at minimal interest rates. Growing out of community need, the Lombada project took on a complementary objective. 
Many in the community were buried beneath high interest loans requiring upwards of 20% interest. They were forced to roll over these loans from one lender to the next as each successive loan came due. In an attempt to break this vicious cycle, the Lombada Project offers low interest microloans to any member for 40 days at 2% interest. The organization also offers 15 day emergency loans at no interest. These loans currently offer a maximum amount of 1,500 pesos. Any profits from the Lombada project are returned to the members by means of a yearly dividend. The success of the daily activities of the project can be measured through its performance indicators. These include 1. An increase in loan amounts and decreases in interest rates with a 100% payback rate. Initially, loans were being given out with a maximum of 500 pesos at 5% interest. Today, due to the success of the project, that amount has increased to 1,500 pesos at just 2% interest. 2. Decrease in the price of fishing supplies. The Lombada project aimed to provide fishing materials to the community at lower costs than the going market rate. By providing supplies directly through the community store, prices drop significantly. Supplies that cost the villagers 660 pesos at the market now cost members of the organization only 500 pesos. Even non-members can take advantage of lower prices with a cost of just 550 pesos. In an area where 10 pesos is a significant monetary increment, the ability to sell just one of the many items at over 100 pesos less than the going rate drastically reduces the end cost to fishermen. 3. An increase in the average daily catch from 5 kilos before the Lombada project to 8 to 10 kilos today. Before the Lombada project, the fishermen were replacing their nets every 4 to 5 months. Continued use of old nets allows more fish to escape due to holes and tears. Now the decreased cost of fishing net supplies and loans has allowed fishermen to replace nets every 3 months, leading to an increase in the amount of total fish caught. 4. The consistent purchase of nets from Manila. The ongoing viability of the project is also demonstrated through regular monthly purchases of supplies from the Bisoria in Manila. According to professors at Ateneo who sponsored this project, a measure of the success of the project is that the fishermen are still returning to Manila consistently to purchase more supplies. 5. A majority of the potential participants in the Lombada project are members. Today, the Lombada project has 52 dues-paying members, drawn from a pool of only 80 possible members. This represents a majority of the potential project participants in the immediate area. My, 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 it's a beautiful world. Measuring the impact of a project is inherently more difficult, but the Lombada project has impacted the wider community in four ways. One escaping the debt trap. The availability of low interest loans make it possible for members and non-members alike to escape the debt trap. Now, the lower interest rate loans allow those deeply indebted members to pay back their high interest loans in favor of the low interest loans on offer through the Lombada project, thus escaping the debt trap. 2. Build up of rainy day savings. Though cultural norms dictate some level of personal privacy in the public statement of surplus cash, through interviews, the evaluation team learned that the people of Barangay Uno are using some excess funds from increased fishing catches to build up rainy day savings. This is especially important in a region so susceptible to typhoons and other natural disasters that threaten livelihoods. 3. Increased self-confidence and feeling of empowerment. The level of self-confidence has increased in Barangay Uno, initially stemming from the empowerment gained through the advocacy success fighting Ricky Reyes' resort development. This new self-confidence has grown as the people of Barangay Uno have experienced more exposure to outsiders like Ateneo students and the Fordham Project Assessment Team. Some of those interviewed cited this as the most important gain in the community from the Lombata Project. Whereas before, they were often too shy to introduce themselves to outsiders, they are now able to address large groups of people with confidence. 4. Construction of indoor bathroom facilities. 
though an unintended consequence of the project. Houses that previously did not have indoor bathroom facilities have since built these in their homes in order to more properly and comfortably host visitors. The community has benefited daily from this development in their living conditions. Accounting for assumptions and risks, the evaluation team concludes that the Lambatham project is successful, though may not be replicable. Certain aspects specific to Barangay Uno create an atmosphere conducive to the success achieved by the Lambatham project. Specifically, there is a very strong atmosphere in the community of sharing and cooperation among residents. They are able to effectively pool their resources, as demonstrated by their successful protest of the Ricky Reyes Beach Resort. They also continue to maintain a community fishing supply store and provide needed credit to the community. Central to the idea of a strong community is an effective leader. It should not be overlooked that Barangay Uno possesses an exceptional leader. Tata Jun has extraordinary business skills and entrepreneurial vision that has moved this community out of their debt to a level where some are now able to save. Additionally, trust and transparency are present. This amplifies the atmosphere of community where everyone can band together towards a common cause. The Lambata project remains ongoing and the community has a plan for future growth. With the donation of Fordham University, Barangay Uno has plans to expand not only their current net project, but also to increase their dried seaweed production to a level that will allow them to sell directly to buyers in Manila, receiving full market value, nearly double what they currently receive. This is just another example of the strength of community present in Barangay Uno and how strong community can make successful economic development possible.